whenever you're ready. You know, that's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to a extremely very special. I know I say every episode special, but this is in particularly a very special episode. I am John here with your other co-host Hen, and today we have a very special surprise. And as you can see, we're both looking very handsome. I got the tie. He's got the blazer. No, we didn't uh, tear a suit up apart. You know, I, I came with this so. Yeah, and Daniel didn't tear apart the rest of the suit. And then this year will be our first annual award ceremony, The Hands. And this is The Hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the applause. Thank you, thank you. Um, as you can see, The Hen, not to be confused with the Oscars, uh, they, uh, they hate us. They want to take the name. Uh, the Academy Awards actually hit us up um, saying, it's what we do, pod. We need Hen, and we need John, and we need The Hens. But, you know, we're not sellouts. No, we're sir. We're not going to sell out to them. So uh, it's this is our award ceremony. The first one of many annual or maybe semi or maybe weekly, depending how we want to do or this. Maybe daily, maybe. Yeah, we might we might have to do this daily now. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? A lot of content is coming out. But right before we get into our award ceremony, our award winning award ceremony, <laughs> uh, we're going to dive into some of the latest and greatest news happening right now. Yeah. And, uh, Stay tuned for that. Yes. Okay. And then right before we get to... Th- okay. I'm repeating myself now. But the first bit of news I would like to cover this week, we have the first teaser trailer to the show, Gen V. It's a spinoff of The Boys, you know, the famous show. It deals with a college... No, yeah, college university and then super-powered kids. Mm-hmm. And then the shenanigans that super-powered kids would get into as in like drugs, sex, alcohol, and crazy... High school crazy things. hormones, but even more crazier hormones because they're on that uh, V. Yeah, shout out V. Yeah, shout out V. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then, of course, we already know how much of a banger the show The Boys is. Yeah. So I wonder how well this will take off. Like, let's say if it's actually be able to carry on the quality of The Boys. Um, a lot of the feedback that I saw from the trailer is very positive. Um, there are a few, like, stragglers that say, like, we're not going to watch this, but... Uh, Everyone's telling that person, speak for yourself. Like, go fuck off. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was like, like, bro, who even asked for this? <laughs> yeah, Everyone. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, exactly. And uh, I, I remember we were talking about it a bit earlier. Uh, did all the characters from the uh, that spinoff of The Boys die? Yeah, they were. They were the. Um, they weren't the All Star teams. Yeah, I know they weren't. But. Yeah, and then there were like the bum ones, and I believe at the end of the episode, they all got shot up. Mm, yeah, yeah, because uh, I was wondering if we we're gonna see any of those or similar heroes in or. Yeah, soups in this. Because I feel like this is like your like your badass ones. Because it's university, and they're they're lined up to eventually take over yeah. as the um, you know, main teams or other teams and shit. So it's like they're the they're the jocks, they're the rich kids, they're the badass ones, and so. And yeah. then the other ones, they're like the bum ones who had like lame power powers. And uh, in the trailer, I noticed there was like a little puppet guy, like little puppet. It was that is that also a soup? Oh no idea. We're talking about, a, I, saw, I, I, I didn't. I didn't catch that. Oh, on the trailer, uh, there's like this little puppet, like, kind of like Sesame Street esque, and he, they like rip his head off, and like the spine comes out. <laughs> oh hell, like, not again. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's like a soup or something. Yeah, and then uh, we see uh, baby Sorcerator in that too. Um, I remember this is like one off thing. I just want to get into. Uh, I was talking about like names at work and stuff, and about how um, you know. Some women don't want to take the man's name and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And in my head, I was like, I'm perfectly fine with that. Whatever, right? If a woman doesn't want to take it, it's cool. But I would like for us to have the same name, you know, if, once you get married, right? <clears throat> yeah. And then I was saying, I was like, I have no problem taking the woman's name if the name is cool. And then the example I said, I was like, man, like, like my name is Hen, obviously, right? Hen, legal name. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like Hen, whatever my last name is. But, like, let's say it's like Hen... Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'll take that last name because that's name hard as fuck, you know? That's the only way I'll take it if it has like a little pizzazz to it or it makes my name sound better. What about Hammer? Yeah, Hen Hammer. That's actually pretty hard. What about Chamele? Nah, that's... Uh, every time you introduce it, it's like, oh, how do you spell that? Oh, are you French? <laughs> 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 and I'm like, no, this is, no, it's not. 
No, I'm not French. My parents are just dumb. Yeah, they just they just made up the name and shit. Yeah, exactly. They were drunk when they were trying to write the name down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next bit of news. We have Rose, uh, Rosemary DeWitt will be playing Huey's mom in season four of The Boys. It's very convenient that she's going to come in right when the money starts flowing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, right? Well, I mean, he's been rich for a minute, but I'm surprised that we're having that introduction of her now fleshing out the Huey family. And um, We haven't really got much info on her before, have we? No, I think the only thing that we got was just that um, he left. No, she left the dad and Huey. And then, because uh, remember, you know how like Huey had some beef with his dad and some emotional drama? Yeah, yeah. But then like he grew to understand that his dad was just doing the best he could. And mom was the problem. Yeah, shout out, mom's the problem. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, it sounds interesting. I wonder what dynamic that would be if she's going to be evil and shit. Because mm-hmm. it's not like she could be evil, right? Are you evil? Uh, on the weekends, occasionally. Me, twenty four seven, good boy. <laughs> Shout out, good boys. And then we also have another film news coming out. Uh, we have Nobody Two set to uh start filming next year. The Nobody One was an incredible movie, mm-hmm. but uh, I just don't know how Bob can do this anymore. Uh, Bob, he's pretty old. Yeah, that's why, and he had heart attack last this year. Oh damn, I didn't know how about that. Yeah, and. If he's able to kick it, that would be great and stuff. But I'm just like, he's getting up there. Like, I wonder how, if he's able to, you know. Which, if he can, that's great. I'm just, like, you know, more concerning and stuff. As if I'm, like, his dad and should try and tell him to calm down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but hopefully that. And then if, I think it should be a trio. It should be his brother and his dad in the next movie. Because they're in the first one. And then yeah. at the end, they had, like, a post credit scene and stuff like that with the they were rolling around. Yeah, classic Marvel movie. Yeah, they had they were in an RV. Shout out RVs. Shout out RV. Shout out Breaking Bad. Yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't even think about that. And then they were rolling around. There was a shitload of guns in the back. Shout out, shitload of guns in the back. Shout shout out, shout out. And so it should be good to be trail. Maybe the lighting his load because he was getting beat the fuck up in the first movie. Oh yeah. Because it was like the way I think of it. It's like picture like John Wick, <laughs> but he just gets beat up. And he's like a middle, like, well, John Wick gets beat up. But like an old man gets just beat up. Because mm-hmm. it's like John Wick fucking, like, let's say if he actually had his family. And it was like 30 years later where he's an old man. He still has the skills, right? It's just that, like, he can't, like, he can't keep up. Mm-hmm. And then uh, moving on to a little Star Wars news. We have Mandalorian Season 3 set to come out in March, beginning of March. I think it was March 11th, I want to say. And then we also have a little bit of news. John Favreau, the I think he writes, uh, he's he's the writer of the show. He has said that this is gonna be a bigger scope show, and it's gonna have Matt, more Mandalorians, more battles, and more. There's a third one that I forgot, and I do not know where I put it. And more space battles and surprises. Shout out surprises. Shout out space battles. Yeah, and of course this shows me like this is my favorite uh, Star Wars show of all time, and. Yeah, I'm just excited. I'm I'm excited for uh, Mando to become the Mandalore, if you want, uh, the leader of Mandalore. And it looks like they can. The direction looks like they're going. They're just gonna have another civil war, and they're gonna take back take back the planet. Shout out taking back planets. And then I want to skip this bit of news, but moving on, we have some Ant Man news. We have, uh, it looks like, oh yeah, most of this news came from uh, Brazil Comic Con. A lot of fucking trailers, a lot of things came out and everything. So it's like most of it, it's coming from there. We had the first look at the, you know, first trailer for Indiana Jones 5 and the Destiny Dial. Harrison Ford looking like Grandpa. And then they even had a little de-aging in the, what's that one thing called? In the flashback scene. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? No, I didn't watch the flashback scene. Yeah, no, it was just like a little cutscene where it shows him de-aged mm, no. in the trailer. But uh, people are like praising it so much and they're saying it's like they want Han Solo show. And I was like, no, don't do that. Please don't. Please don't. And especially too, where do you have an actor who plays the young Han Solo? And I think he's great. It was just a movie that I felt. So, no. Uh, well, that's me being me, uh, biased on that. But I think it's a little brain fart. Han Solo. Yeah, oh yeah. We we're about to go talk about how much uh, fuck Han Solo. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, you're right, you're right. 
Oh, close my phone. Okay. And then uh, I want to talk about a little Avatar news. I think it's so funny. Uh, Avatar, uh, James, uh, a couple of weeks ago, James Cameron was talking about saying, like, if you need to take a bathroom break, take a bathroom break. And then, like, he talked about it again this week, and he said, uh, take a bathroom break because you'll just, uh, you can just catch whatever you missed from the first showing on your second showing. <laughs> and I was like, that is fucking, like, that's like. Is he saying, like, that's how good it's going to be? You're going to want to come watch it a second time? Yeah. Oh. Uh. And then he says, like, your second show, is, and then fourth, fifth, sixth. It's an eight-hour shift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's, like, clocking in for work. Yeah, for real. Uh, one of the things I think is interesting, too, um, he's talking about uh, with his movie, even though it's taking him years to do it and stuff, like 20-something years, whatever, um, it deals with the, what's that thing called? World building, right? Yeah. He has one movie to make all his world build world building, right? And like let's say an MCU takes twenty something movies to build out a whole universe and he should try and build out his universe in that one movie. So I guess maybe in perspective that does make sense. But like it's still a very expensive movie at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean you're not I mean <clears throat> First, you gotta play. You gotta pay the blue people. You gotta pay their animals. You gotta pay the people on the planet. Uh, you gotta you get g- certain permits and you stuff. Gotta pay, Pandora por- permits. Yeah, you gotta pay the uh, the trees. The trees are paid actors. Yeah, yeah. Different planet, different rules on. Yeah. And then also think about the space travel, the cost of space to travel to Pandora as well. Yeah. Uh, fuel jet is is not cheap in space. Not cheap at all. The uh the cameraman you have to get the good ones that are fast and can fly. Mm-hmm. The ones that you can scrap onto an aircraft. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. And then <laughs> you have to pay for all the trans. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, you have to pay for the spice that, like in Dune for space travel. Oh, mm-hmm. nice plug-in. <laughs> but and then he already has ideas for uh, six and seven. And like, I'm just like, this dude's not going to be alive for six and seven. Like, I mean, knock on wood, whatever, right? Want him to live a long and healthy life. But uh, he's not going to, like, live forever, you know? So, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then uh, moving on, we have a little other news of, um, oh, we had the first trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Who is dying? Who's going to take their final rest? Who Who do you put your money on? Maybe Drex. No, I don't think you will. Who? Maybe maybe Rocket? Maybe all of them. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't think... Ro- I would hate for Rocket to die. It's just like... You know, he was there during the blip, right? So mm-hmm. it's like he's been there. He's been holding it down for the, everyone. And then if he dies, it's like, damn, you just, you just got your family back. And now they're all dead. No, now you die. You know, it's like, I feel like it made more sense for someone from the blip to die, like Peter. Mm. Shout out Peter, Don. No, I don't know. I'll be sad regardless. And then we had our first look at Adam Warlock as well. He looked bronze. <clears throat> yeah, I was expecting something better, but... uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. He didn't really look gold. It could be in the lighting as well, maybe, yeah. in that scene. But, like, I think back at it, like, you know, the volume two, right? We saw the gold people, right? He's one of the gold people. Those gold people didn't look good, so it, like it makes sense why he looks bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he looks buff though. That's one thing I could say without a doubt. And then that movie will be releasing on May fifth in theaters. Oh, another trailer that we saw was Transformer, Transformers, Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. That movie looks, looks fucking lit, bro. It does. It really does. Uh, I was like, oh, wait, bro. Gonna probably get uh, Optimus Primal. Onto Prime these nuts. What? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yes. And then we also have the um, the actor. Uh, he's in uh, the the one that was writing the 9-11. He is the one that's in Hamilton. He dies in Hamilton. Shout out dying in Hamilton. You watch Hamilton, right? I didn't finish it, but I watched most of it. Yeah, it's like one of the, like, he dies, and yeah. And I think he plays two people in that one. But, uh, and then he's in that. 
And then he's also in the Tales from the Bronx or something. Another musical. Mm-hmm. I think he's great. And then he's also going to be so in. So this is uh, his first time on the big screen. No, it's not. Tales from the Bronx. It's um no, <sighs> something Heights. It's another area of New York or whatever. Brooklyn Heights, maybe. Oh, maybe yeah. Bronx. I don't know. It's something from the Heights. And uh, that that was a movie. It was a fucking long ass movie. It was a musical though. And then also too, he will be in the what's that one thing called? He's gonna be in Iron Heart and he's gonna play Red Robin Hood. I'm kidding when I say that. He's playing some character that has a red hood. Mm. I think it actually could be Red Hood. I can't remember, but he's in Iron Heart for sure. I'm that movie that trailer looked badass. You know, especially that scene where he he steps out the nine eleven and then just transforms right there. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm definitely gonna buy that toy. <laughs> okay, what else do you have? Oh, that's my place. You see where we're on? Uh, Transformers is gonna come out in on June 9th. So keep an eye out for that one. Shout out June 9th. What's the next piece? I can't find it. Uh, Daphne Keen describes the acolytes. Oh, shh. Okay. And then she describes the show as it's going to be an explanation on how the Sith infiltrated the Jedi. It's a Sith-led story. Never done before. And also, one thing I think is funny with that actor, she is the one from Logan, right? Mm -hmm. And every one of the stories, pieces that I see, they always use photos from her from Logan. They're outdated as fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, but uh, I mean, actually, that this sounds so lit to me. And I wonder if it's gonna be. I can't. I don't. I'm not sure what era of Star Wars this is. I know it's Old Republic or whatever. But is it the era where um, there's the rule of two has been established already, or is this before then? Because this could be like you know, like the the lineage of you know, like Dark Plagueis, you know, of the rule of two from there. So I wonder if it's that or it's to be where there used to be like a Sith Academy, which I think a Sith Academy to see that would be so fucking lit. But that's just I think that's older, older. Um, Who was it that started the rule of two? That was Darth Bane, what, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I can't even remember. But yes, um, I think it's rule two already, but it would be cool if it wasn't, you know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Right. And then I'm uh, moving on to other little news. We have a Bruce Lee biopic in the works, and then his son Mason Lee will be um, portraying uh, Bruce Lee in that. I think it's poetic. I love that. Yeah, I love that. It's and I like that thing. It's like the same thing Ice Cube did with Ice Cube Junior, mm-hmm. Baby Ice Cube, people will Ice Trey um, played his father. Yeah, we can. Wait, wait, Ice Cube's son, the one that uh, was saying that six thousand dollars a month wasn't wasn't anything. No, you're talking. You're thinking about Fifty Cent. Oh, Ice Cube, Ice Cube. Okay, yeah, no, <laughs> sorry, Fifty Cent. Yeah, different, different, different rappers. Yeah. Honestly, uh, Ice Cube. I don't know him for being a rapper. I just know him to be in like the comedies, like uh, Friday. Not even Friday. Fucking like the family ones. Like, uh, what's that one? Are we there yet? Yes, are we there? That was a classic growing up. Shout out. Shout out, Ice Cube. Yeah. Just don't get into sun. You'll melt too fast. Oh. What else we're looking at? Oh, okay. Then we have one of the greatest trailers to release this year, Cocaine Bear, and it actually features Ice Cube's son in that movie as well. <laughs> Cocaine bear, it's about a bear who finds a lot of cocaine, about 70-something pounds of cocaine, and does it all, or whatever. You're just out on the lookout for cocaine, right? And uh, he goes on a massacre, killing people, jumping on ambulances and stuff like that. Um, it's a straight-up comedy, right? I thought the movie was going to... Oh, I'm excited for this movie. This yeah. is like... The concept of it just sounds great, right? It sounds hilarious. Yeah, it's like right before you have to walk in, you just have to do like a kilo of cocaine or whatever. Is it gonna come out in theaters? Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, it's a full fledged movie, and like you look at the cast in it as well, like they have big names in there as well. So this is not like nothing, 
And then we also had the late uh, Ray Lilona. Oh, Ray Liotta? Yeah, yeah. He's also in the movie as well. I think uh, it's probably one of his last pictures he did. And this movie looks fucking lit. <laughs> I was talking about it nonstop on Friday. Uh, Bear knows how to party. Shout out Bears. Okay, and then this is some... It could be some troubling news that we have. We have Amazon is close to closing a big deal with Ooh. Warner Bros. Discovery for DC animated content on Prime Video. They're like, hey, what's HBO again? Bro, I don't like that. What the hell am I using HBO for? I mean, I know it's only animated content, but like still. you know. I'm hoping the deal is not going to be exclusively. like, Because why would they not put their own work in hbo right plus prime has the boys and they also have invincible yeah and i can see why amazon would do this like it makes sense for them right but it's like if you can't even have your own fucking movies on there like come on like you know what i mean yeah like if any disney project it's gonna be on disney right at some yeah. point, except for obviously spider-man but that's a different story yeah except for before how they had a lot of their stuff on netflix yeah and then, well, that was a big deal that they had, and obviously they lost the deal now because HBO. Maybe HBO hasn't flipped over to make profit yet, but it's it it like it sounds like they're just scrapping it for parts now. You know, that's uh, that's one of the theories that's been going around uh, lately that they were just doing these kind of deals and stuff to get rid of them or the bread. You know, and then they're gonna sell it off eventually, right? Yeah. And if they do that, that sounds very fucking sad. But. Holding out for Disney. No, holding out. No, 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 for, no, 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 no. HBO. Holding out, holding Warner out for DC. Warner Bros. Warner Bros. Discovery or Discovery Warner Bros. I can't remember the name. Okay, moving on. Some other happier news. We have the uh, the sequel of the that '90s show. It'll be coming out on Disney. Not this. Fuck Netflix on January nineteenth. The '90s show. Uh, I was reading up on a few things. Uh, it sounds like they're gonna have the mom and the dad come back, mm-hmm. uh, to play, you know, to be the grandparents. Uh, Eric's gonna be, uh, back as the father. I don't know if Donna's gonna be the mom, because like they kind of ended the '70s show, kind of open ended a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna see the full cast back. I think there's gonna be a few missing members. Uh, we might see Ashton Kutcher back. Um, uh, maybe Mila Kunis. But I don't know about uh. I don't know about the the guy who played Hyde, and I don't know about Fez either. So we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be taking over for the the kids, the new kids, the new yeah. blood, if you will. And um, the parents they have not aged a bit. They look exactly the fucking same. Well, they got baby faces, so. Oh, I guess it takes longer for them to crack. Yeah, because I remember watching it, the trailer for it. I was like, they look exactly. Oh, the you're same. talking about the Eric's parents. Yeah, Eric's oh, parents. Oh, dang. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and the trailer, they look exactly the same to me. I and mean, also, too, I'm not a big fan of the 70s show as well. Just not my cup, whatever. It's better than Friends. I don't care about this argument. You know, we have gotten to this myth multiple times. I knew, I saw it in your eyes before you said it, too. I knew you were going to say that shit. It's just not my cup. I have a certain cup that I like, and it's not my cup. Fuck you and your own damn cup. Your cup's not better than That's my cup. That's why it's cup. my cup. Yeah, good. Stick to your cup. You don't cup. touch my cup. Better cup. Don't touch my fucking cup. Okay. And then uh, Legend... Okay, this is our last bit of news. Then we'll dive straight into our award ceremony. We have Legendary Entertainment launches a uh, new deal with Sony Pictures after ending their agreement, contract, or is it contract? Or cutting ties. That's what the thing says. Cutting ties with Warner Bros. Films um, distribution. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're that they were upset over the um, last year how HBO released all the movies on HBO, if you remember that. Mm-hmm. And there were certainly like agreements, contracts, and stuff like that with like AMC, I believe, that uh, they were supposed to have the rights to it, but then they ended up getting fucked over for that. And everyone was upset at HBO, but HBO was like, no, nah, I'm trying to make my bread back. <laughs> yeah. So that, but, and then that did horrible as well. So then a lot of companies are like leaving it like uh legendary and then also to even chris uh, uh christopher nolan as well he's not gonna work with them because of uh tenant he was upset over that one so 
Yeah, <laughs> looks like HBO is losing more money. Dang, HBO is just like digging their own grave right now. They, cause it's, it sucks because it could be a major comeback, or it could be that this could be just part of the downfall. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I remember there's uh there weren't the other ones that had a lot of controversy with that. I remember uh Scarlett Johansson uh, was upset that they uh, Disney released uh mm-hmm. what was it uh Black Widow on yeah. Disney Plus and not Disney Plus and the movie theater. Mm-hmm. So uh, they made they made it sound like she wasn't getting to get a cut from uh, the viewership on Disney Plus. So. I think she was supposed to get it back and uh like percentage of the box office. I think yeah. that's why. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And then they ended up selling that shit outside of court or whatever, or outside. They settled it because she sued and everything. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the first annual Hen Awards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, presenting the awards for tonight is going to be the one, the only, John. His lovely assistant. You should have said that. No, I'm your assistant. Because I'm sexy. Yeah, sure. And also Hen, which is me. Yeah. And then our first category of the night is going to be, our our first category of the night is going to be. Sorry, I just, before we before we begin this, I'm sorry for interrupting you, Hen. Um, everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that it's been an, an honor, you know, doing this podcast, you know, for the fans, uh, doing it with uh, uh, my best friend, Hen. And then uh, I just want to say that before we go ahead and begin this, that uh, all these movies, uh, it was very hard to pick. There's a lot of good movies that came out this year. Great projects, great um, projects. Very good, very great actors, very great uh, producers and directors and all the staff, even the cameramen, you know. Uh, Let that be known. There were a lot of bad ones as well. Yeah, there were a lot of pretty shit ones. I'm looking at you. You know who you are? Yeah, you know who you are. Um, but yeah, so... It was a little bit difficult, but there was a lot of competition. But I just want to say that we spent years picking these. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. Fine-tuning this. And also another thing, too. We know how the other, the Waskers, how they are. They're very biased. It's a popularity contest. We would like you to know here at the It's What We Do headquarters, we are even more biased than they are. <laughs> <laughs> this is our favorites. <laughs> And that's all that matters to us. <laughs> we don't care about what the people say. We care about what we think and what we like and how much they paid us to give them the nominee and awards. I thought you were going to go the complete other way. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is strictly unbiased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is even more biased. So, yes. <laughs> Just letting you know. But, I mean, the awards are my fucking name. So, it's like. Yes, they're going to be even extremely more biased than yeah, ever. Yes. Exactly. If you're upset about it, make your own fucking awards. <laughs> make your own podcast. Yes. Okay. So now, for our first um, category, we have actor in leading role. Is uh, Tom Cruise in Tom Gunn Maverick. And um looks like he's the only one. So, Tom Cruise. Wins in the first Hen Awards. Give that to Tom Cruise. Yeah. Will medal Tom. Yeah, Will medal Tom. Congratulations, Tom Cruise. Um, congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the nominees. <laughs> okay. And then we also have a follow-up award. We have the uh, Best Actor in Supporting Role. And then uh, we have one nominee as well. We have uh, Miles Teller and Top Gun Maverick, which they both go hand in hand, right? It makes sense, right? Yeah. Leading actor, supporting role, perfect. Like pe- uh, peanut butter and jelly. So, <laughs> for best animated feature film of the year is Turning Red. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the Batman: The Killing Joke, where Batman has sex with Batgirl. I thought you were going to do the laughing one. Oh, wait. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> All right. Turn, oh, okay. Turn your red. Turn your red. Congratulations. Here's your hen. The hens. The hens. The hen. And 
moving on <laughs> to uh, best cinematography. Matt Reeves for the Batman. I'm not gonna do this every time. This is gonna get no. Annoying. You have to. Oh Jesus! You Christ. have to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, the Batman. As we know, the Batman, one of the greatest movies of all time, or one of the greatest Batman movies of all time. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Ron Bat, Bat and Bat, one of my favorite movies of the year. Saw it about like five times this year. Can't remember how many times I saw it, but I saw it way too many times. No, not enough times. Never enough times. You can never get enough of La Batman. Mm-mm. La Ratatonel. What? Didn't, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I forgot what it's called. La Rata Alada. Alada. Some shit like that. Alada? Like ice cream? <laughs> and then, uh, moving on to our next category, we have Best Costume Design. And then our nominees. Oh, wait. Why did I come on do this? For Best Costume Design, we have the movie. Let me open the envelope. I don't have the envelope. And it looks like it's going to be the movie Prey. Shout out praying in church. No, shout out praying not in church. Shout out praying in the strip club. And uh, as we know, uh, it's a it's a um, Hulu t- original. Shout out Hulu. What's that thing called? Um, where it's like a uh, uh, period piece in the early I don't know when, but early times. And uh, we have a lot of um, uh, chick. What was the name of the tribe? I can't even remember. Native American um tribe. Uh Native Native American outfits. And then we also had uh French people. The French colonizers. Shout out colonizers, as always, as ever. We know how we feel about colonizers. And then, you know, the costumes are great. Uh they're I, I assume they're very authentic and stuff like that. Very inspired as well. And then a lot of the cast as well, even though they're not costumes and stuff, but I guess the casting with the uh, with the costumes and stuff, great pair worked out incredible, incredible movie. Shout out movies. Yeah, the tiger was a paid actor. Yeah, but didn't get paid enough. Mm-hmm. There was a tiger. No, the lion, yeah, mountain the lion, lion. lion. Yeah, they actually had to kill it on the on the scene and everything too. Yeah. Was they weren't gonna do it, but they didn't want to pay it, so they just had to kill it off, you know. Yeah, tax uh, write off. That happens every now and then. It's a write off, you know. You know how it goes whenever you kill too many mountain lions. <laughs> and then we have for best director, we have James Gunn, and I believe he has not had a movie come out this year, but um, he's a great director. So, congratulations, James Gunn! You are director of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I put that. As we know, he has a lot of uh, famous projects. Every time you see a James Gunn project, you know how incredible he is. Oh, he directed the um, Gardens of the Galaxy uh, Holiday Special. There you go. Yeah, see, that's close enough. Jamie. Yeah, we're not exclusively doing movies this year. So, yes. <laughs> Shout out James Gunn. Another round of applause for James Gunn, if you want. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. And then we have the first uh, musical award uh, for original score. We have the musical Hamilton. And I know there's uh, the musical came out a couple years ago, but that's just how good it is that it takes the award in 2022. Yes. Thank you, Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. I'm not going to waste my shot. Shout out, Hamilton. Did you like that? Did you like the play? It was good. I thought it was incredible. I, I loved didn't it. finish it. You shouldn't. You'll cry. Uh, no, I won't. Yes, you will. It's a great, it's a great play. Well, Hamilton, enjoy your hand. Yes, yes, yes. And then, uh, what's our next category? Oh, would you like to do this one, Best Picture? Best Picture of the year goes to Everything Everywhere All at Once. One of the greatest movies of this decade. Greatly received. Great movie. Very thought out. Shout out the cast or directors. 
Shout out AT4 Studios. Shout out fucking probably some acid in whenever you watch this movie. It's trying to be even harder, boss. <laughs> this movie was an incredible masterpiece. It blew everyone's mind away. It was one of those movies that I still don't even know how to explain to other people. I just say hot dog fingers. <laughs> Shout out hot dog fingers. And it's a... Um, and then especially, too, it's gotten a lot of awards and stuff like that. It has an amazing cast to it as well. Do you have that up? Yeah, you know, uh, the main the main family, uh, Michelle Yeoh, Ka- Kehu- Kehui Kwan, who, uh, as we know, is a shortstop in Indiana Jones. Shout out shortstop. And uh, Stephanie Su, as well as uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, James Hong, uh, Jenny State, and uh, a couple other names. But, yes, very good cast, very great performances from them all. Best picture. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. Highly deserved. This is one of the best movies of all time. Would you say, I would say in my personal, because you know this is very biased, I would say it's probably in my top 20, at least for sure, of all time, you know? Yeah, I agree. Do you have a favorite movie of all time? No. Interesting. I don't think so. I can't think of it. It's a hard decision to put on a movie, especially too. It's over time; they always change and stuff. And what does the best mean? Whatever we say it is, because we're biased. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, for the best show of the year, we have the offer starring Miles Teller. Miles motherfucking Teller. As we know, that show was a complete banger. We were watching it week by week. Caught up on every episode. Just, whoo, it was incredible. It was amazing. The outfits, the cinematography, the acting in it. And overall, the, the actors. Host. Yes. They, they, I mean, the actors they chose to play. Yeah, Miles Teller. They look just like them. Especially Miles Teller. Like, as we know, Army was already was set to star in that. But, you know, he started uh, getting canceled. Shout out getting canceled. But regardless, though, it's like if you look at our ruddy – it's, well, I'm not saying already he's a good-looking guy. But he's not, but I think... Uh, the guy who played Al Pacino. Yeah. He looked just like him. Yeah, but I was saying for uh, Al Ruddy, like, if you look at Miles, Miles is, like, a way better... Uh, no, he just... I felt like he was just great in this role, and I think he was the man for the job. You know? Yeah. I love Miles. I love Miles, motherfucking teller. Miles, you win our hearts, but tonight, you win the hens. Congratulations, Miles. Oh, yeah, and then the rest of the makers of the offer as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I should have, like, a stick that just pokes the button. <laughs> oh, okay. And then <laughs> what else we have? Oh, we have the best comedy show of the year. My favorite. My favorite show, created by Donald Glover. Donnie Gloves? Atlanta. Atlanta. Very good show. I'm currently finishing up season four. Love that show. Love the cast. They're all really good. Um, yeah, shout out. Yes. Donald Glover. Shout and then out Ryan Terry Henry. Shout out Lakeith Stanfield. And shout out. Um, God. Yeah. <laughs> Zazie Beats. That's her name. Zazie Beats. Shout yes. Out Zazie Beats. Especially too very fitting that they win the hens on their final season. Mm-hmm. And we're doing this overall award for them. Because every season there's straight banger after banger, you can tell that they don't uh, they don't let up on the gas, if you will. They do not miss. Who misses? Not them. Not them. Not us either. Never. 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 Shout out hens. Shout out the hens. What else? You have? Oh, okay. And then and this. Oh shit! I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then this next category, we have the best horror movies of the year. And uh, this one, we actually did have a couple of nominees listed here. We have The Barbarian, Orphan, First Kill, Nope, Scream, ba- Scream, and the winner of the horror movie of the year. Halloween. I'll fucking kill you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That hurt my feelings. I can't believe how much that hurt my feelings. Did you like Halloween? No, I was just saying. I'll fucking murder Halloween. Halloween ends. 
And he's gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah, because you're never getting another fucking movie out of this one. And the winner of the horror movie of the year is Scream. Yes, yes. Incredible movie. And then we already have another one lined up in three months. Shout out Scream. Shout out Scream. Killing people. Murdering people. Killing off important characters in movies and stuff. One of my favorite things that they do. Shout out Scream. I'm excited for the next one. Really excited for the next one. And uh, moving on to the next category. Comedy movie of the year. This movie uh, was a little bit comedy slash action. I felt like there wasn't that many comedy movies that came out. I week. think this movie was a melting pot. It had it covered, it touched so many bases. Mm-hmm. If it was baseball, it hit a home run because it touched everything and everyone. If it was baseball, then I would have fallen asleep during it. It's like a, I don't know, harassment case. It just touched everyone everywhere. God. And the winner of the <laughs> comedy, you know, the, what was this again? Comedy of the year. The winner of the comedy of the year is Bullet Train starring Braddy Pitts. And uh, this movie also had uh, a lot of cast members from uh, Atlanta, uh, Brian Terry Henry. Uh, Zazie Beats. It even had uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson from KKS, and he also played Quicksilver. And uh, Bad Bunny was in it as well, playing a Mexican that's racist. Um, Straight up. And <laughs> no, wait, never mind. Take it back. We wrote this on. We wrote with the hand. <laughs> um, but yeah, great movie. Brad Pitt, uh, Sandra Bullock was in it. Loved it. Congratulations, Bullet Train. You know, it'd be clever for me to do if I just have different applause. So make it, it's like the same one every fucking every ten seconds. It's because it's the same audience. That's why. Oh, good point. I mean, they make they're the same people, right? Yeah, exactly. We're in front of a live studio audience. Yeah. And then our next category, we have best comic book movie of the year, and our nominees are Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Morbius, Black Adam. Spider-Man No Way Home Edition. The Batman. I feel like this is some other ones. I'm sure that there are. I'm sure that there are. Not any good ones I can't remember, though. And <laughs> the winner of the comic book movie award is The Batman, starring Rob Bat, Bat and Bat. I already sang my praise a little bit earlier right now. The Batman, one of the best movies, one of the best DC ever. Oh, it is the best DC, one of the best comic book movies of all time. Incredible movie, and excited for Batman 2. You mean the Batman 2? The Batman 2. Incredible. Shout out Batman. Shout out Batman. Shout out uh, Robert Pattinson, uh, Matt Reeves, uh, Zoe Kravitz. Kravitz. Um, what else was in there? Ray, is it Ray? Uh. Yeah, the rest of the cast. Shout outs for shout out. Now moving on to the next topic. Best comic book show of the year. And our nominees are? She-Hulk. Ms. Marvel. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. <laughs> I went blank on there for a sec, sorry. Uh, what else came out this year? I'm pretty sure, uh, no, Titans. Titans. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't even think about Titans. New season, Titans. Okay, I'll disqualify them just because the season is not completed yet. No. So, no. yes. That's the only reason why Titans has it's most likely not going to win anymore. And your winner is Moon Knight. Shout out Moon Knight. Shout out Steve. Shout out Mark. Shout out Jacob. J- Jake. Jake. Um, yes, and now also to uh, shout out uh, Oscar Isaac and Most his importantly shout out Oscar Isaac and his three his other two triplets because mm-hmm. you know they need one to play each character and yeah. shout out for him to play all roles and his two brothers yes shout out Oscar Isaac shout out Peter Isaac and shout out Jake Isaac yes Jake Mr. Isaac. Isaac yes yes shout out Mr Isaacs the the trio of Isaac the triplets of Isaacs shout out Ethan Hawke yes shout out shout out incredible show amazing it it has been i think out of this year it was the peak of the mcu yeah 
Yeah. I, so. I can say that without a doubt. I think it was the best thing that came out this year for it. Yeah. Incredible year. Incredible year. Well, that was an incredible year for Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Best comedy thriller. No. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's the thing. Comedy thriller? No, I'm joking. Best crime thriller of the year show. The best crime thriller show of the year goes to Tokyo oh, Vice. <laughs> Tokyo Vice. <laughs> goes to Goes to Tokyo Vice. Shout out Ansel Elgort. Elgort. That show was a complete fucking bang. Fuck. That show was a complete fucking banger. One of the greatest shows ever. And we already have season two lined up as well. It was an incredible short story. Featured Dung. Shout out Dunks. And the whole cast of it as well. They're incredible in their roles and stuff. And shout out. Um, yeah, it was just great. I loved it. Yeah, shout out Insult Elgort. Mm-hmm. Weird ass name. Are you looking through the cast? Try to see what they called him. Shout out, get, shout out the guy Jean, uh, <laughs> Ansel Elgort. I liked it too, just because uh, he was a guy Jean, but uh, he fit in though. Like, you know? Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Going to the clubs, partying, getting mm-hmm. some girls, sitting down in an apartment on the floor. Yeah, studying all the fucking time, just on the train, just trying to study. Fuck that. I'll kill myself before I study on a train. Like, on my drive or stuff like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have so much time to study. Oh, fuck that. I'm not studying like that. Exactly. I'll kill myself. Oh, okay. Incredible show. Well-deserved. Okay. And then for our next category, we have a the best mythological show of the year. And hands down, without a shadow of doubt in my mind. Be- Lord of the Rings. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. No, no fuck joking, that I show. <laughs> fuck that show. It goes to the Sandman. Now, if you want to talk about bangers of the show, if you want to talk about understanding what a god is and what a god can do and what stories to tell and how to adapt uh, a comic book, Sandman hits it all. It is an incredible show, incredible acting, incredible stories, arcs, over act. It was incredible. Like, it was one of my favorite things that has happened in the last year. It blew me away. I finished it. It was like 10 episodes, I want to say. Finished it in two days. It was, wow. It was, well. It's, you know that argument, it's like, how do you, it's like Superman, right? How do you do Superman when Superman wins everyone, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. This dude's a god, and he's able to, like, tell stories and stuff like that, and, like, like real enemies and stuff like that incredible show will deserve the sandman congratulations well now moving on to the best rom-com of the year starring Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum in The Lost City It's comedy. Damn, they just they just start laughing. Wow, whoa, yeah. they just love this movie. It's crazy. I yeah. love the movie. I love it too. It's like whenever you think about it, uh-huh. you just start laughing. Ha ha ha. So ha. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. The, the high laugh. <laughs> Didn't see him, but I know John has high praise for that movie. And some of our runner ups was what was that other one we were talking about? Moonshot, starring was it Dylan? Right? Dylan Sprouse. Dylan Sprouse. Shout out. Dylan Sprouse, one of the uh, Sprouse twins, and Stephanie Sue was it? Was it her? Yeah, the co-star, love her, fell in love with it. Incredible cast, and very funny, and great story to tell. Shout out going to Mars, and then next, our next category is the best action movie of the year, and the nominees are only one movie, Bullet Train. And our winner is? Bullet Train. Congratulations. Again. Again. Taking a home two Oscars. No, hands. Fuck. Taking, a, taking home two, two hands. hands. And as we say, 
That movie was so well-rounded. It hit every category you could think of. It hit all the funny spots, all the, the good spots, spots, all the inappropriate spots. All the good spots. All mm. the really good spots. Yeah. All the ones that you get some sexual harassment and war, uh, reports against. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Anyways. Great movie. Shout out, Braddy Pitts. It was a cute movie. As long as you say that. Yeah. And I just love it, too, how Braddy Pitts in the home movie was just like, I really don't care about what's going on. Like, he was, like, in life-threatening things. And he was just like, ah, just another day in the office. You know, I just realized Ryan Reynolds makes a cameo in that movie. Oh, yeah, it was he his fault the whole movie. He's in for Ryan Reynolds' mm-hmm. character. It was his fault the whole fucking movie. Yeah. Best choreography. Nah, geography. Everything everywhere. All, all at, at once. once. Beautiful movie. Beautiful, beautiful movie. This choreography, for one thing, incredible. And we know that famous fight with the, um, what's that thing? The, um, what's that, what's that bag called? The, the fanny pack. Yeah, the fanny pack. The battle scene with the, the fight scene with the fanny pack. Legendary. Incredible. If you want to talk about fight scenes, that's one of the great fight scenes. And then also ge- uh, geography as well. This movie takes a place in multiple dimensions. How can it not be one of the best? It's the true multiverse of madness. It's way better. This is like, this slaps in the face. No, this spits in the face of multiverse of madness. Mm-hmm. This is the true multiverse of madness. This is what Disney strives to be like. Which it cannot, mm-hmm. sadly. And they only took one movie for them to do it. Shout out, only two, only one movies. MCU's have been trying to build up to the multiverse for years, decades, centuries, and they're still not able to accomplish what they were able to do in one movie. Exactly. They call it long storm, long form storytelling. I call that laziness. <laughs> I am funny. Yes, you are. Yes, yes. And uh, moving on to the next one. Best thriller of the year. The winner is... Nope. Beautiful movie. Shout out Kiki Palmer. Shout out Steven Yuen. Shout out Jordan Peele. Daniel. Oh, yeah, Daniel. I forgot his last name, but shout out Daniel. Love him. It was their reunion between Daniel and uh, Jordan Peele. Mm-hmm. Didn't watch it, but I heard uh, good things. Great things. <laughs> I'll get around to it one day. Okay, then we have a special award for this game. Um, no, I'm sorry. This special award. <clears throat> and then our next award is a very special one. It's close to our heart. It's a very broad one that we did, a special category we did. It is called, I don't know, something for a God of War award. And the nominees are God of War Ragnarok. And the winner is... God of War Ragnarok. Shout out Kratos. Shout out Atreus. Shout out Thor. Shout out Thrud. Uh, shout out Sif. Shout out uh, Man Sif as well. Shout out Freya. 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 Yeah. Shout out the whole cast. Shout, shout out Amir. Shout out uh, PlayStation 5 for uh, being able to be played on there. Shout out to ATV. Shout out HD McCord. Shout out Xbox Series S. Shout it doesn't. Out. It's a Sony exclusive. Oh. So oh. fucks. Fuck Xbox. Fuck Xbox Series X. Fuck all the fat motherfucker. Eh. Shout out Fenrir. Shout out uh, killing your uh, wife and daughter and having uh, the ashes uh, permanently stick to your skin. Yeah. Shout out uh, killing all gods. Fuck gods. Yeah. Exactly. Shout out being a giant. Special award. Special award. Or God Award. Ragnarok. And the next award. The most woke award. Goes to. The Wokes. Oh what did you say? Dubois. Dubois. I said the Wokes. As in. Translate. Yes. The boys. The Wokes. What's the difference? You tell me. Is Donald Trump in the movie and on the show? Maybe. Is he sim- Is he supposed to be in the show? Maybe. Who knows? Shout out. The boys. Incredible show. Very wokeness. 
the Wookiees of the Wooks. And you know, I think it's funny too with the boys. It's a very woke show, right? And then it's um, on Amazon. Mm. And Amazon is like a big thing that a lot of woke people are against. But they still use it though because it's too convenient for people not to use. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shout out the Jeff boys. Bezos. Jeff Bezos, I know you're listening. Shout out. And then moving on to uh, the best cameo award. Our nominees are Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She Hulk, and the winner is She Hulk for Daredevil and Wong. Shout out Wong and Hulk as well. I guess. Yes. Oh, I forgot another and abomination. One. Oh yeah, forgot about it. It brings out old, new, current heroes, and it just ties it all together. And especially too, we know how MCU does it, like loves to do cameos and stuff, right? But this was cameos done right. So fit the story, and it knew it was doing fanfare, so it let it let it ride it out. Yeah. Huang many episodes, Daredevil just threw him for. She hawks someone to, some dig. Yeah, to pipe. Yeah. <laughs> and then Abomination, it sort of fits. And then it's it's a Hulk villain or whatever. Shout out villains. Incredible one. Mm-hmm. Oh, another cameo I forgot was uh, Black Adam. That was another nominee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was plus credit, so it doesn't really count. Mm-hmm. It's an honorable mention. Mr. Kent. Child, Mr. Kent. Henry Lockhavel. Next category is... Album of the year. The album goes to Yesy by Jesse Reyes. Shout out Jesse. Yes, yeah, shout out, shout out. I love her. There me. And then uh Song of the Year goes to Heading by Jesse Reyes. <laughs> Yes. And then Artist of the Year goes to Jesse Reyes. <laughs> Shout out Jesse Reyes. Yeah. Uh, here is your hand. She takes actually three homes today. Okay. Yeah. I love her. Okay. And then our biggest, uh, our last category of this night will be the biggest one of all time. This is the super hand, if you will. Who will win the super hand? And the category is best podcast of the year. And it goes to Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I actually read that incorrectly. It actually goes to the It's What We Do podcast. Woo. So we're taking home the Super Hen and we're just going to keep all the other awards too while we're at it because we won the Super Hen. Yeah, exactly. It's like a power up. We just take them all at this point. Pretty much. Yes. But thank you. For joining our award ceremony this year, it has been a great year of ups, ups and downs. A lot of things happened. A lot of things came out. A lot of hours sat behind a screen, just absorbing the content, letting it rot your brain. Exactly. It's been a hell of a year. And brain let's soup. see what else the new year brings us, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the whole next year, right? Yeah. A um, whole line of new movies and shows and more content and more Jesse Reyes <laughs> content to be released. Shout out Jesse Reyes. Shout out It's What We Do podcast. It's what we do, baby. And uh, and thank you for joining us for this first annual Hen Awards. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. It's what we do. Big kisses. Good